What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we decided that we were finally ready to go legit, so to speak. So we've given ourselves $100,000 and 1,000 conservation credits. And now we are officially open. Again, open. We were kind of open before, but now... It's at least a little bit more legit than just playing in sandbox mode. So, a couple of things I want to do today, one of which has to do with our horrible, and I mean just god-awful bathroom block that we made in that previous episode. Man, I am not happy about that whatsoever, so I think we're going to try to clean that up a little bit. I don't think there's really anything else that we need to do for the otters at this point in time. So I think we're ready to start moving on to another exhibit I have no idea what species we're going to be doing, but we'll probably figure that out today as well. These dudes and dudettes have had Bebe. If you guys missed the previous episode, make sure you go back and watch it because we did have two Bebe boys, Bebe boy otters over here. They are looking fantastic. All the animals in the zoo are going to age twice as slow as they usually do. The reason I did that is just so we don't have to continue going around replacing animals that have now deceased. To start things off here, I'm just going to go in to edit this toilet block, and we're probably just going to get rid of all of it, if I'm being completely honest. It just did not turn out the way I thought it would whatsoever. So we're going to get rid of that, get rid of that path right there, and we're essentially going to be starting all over. But we've got to be smart about this. We need to start with our walls first and first mostly. So under my blueprints, those are going to be locked now because we did research or we enabled research. Oh no. Oh no, not a good start. And I don't know what's locked within the blueprint. Not the greatest start here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and put down a research center temporarily over here just on the side of our entrance. And then now I've got to remember how we do research all right scratch that we have an inspector now that just arrived which is just great i'm not ready for you whatsoever but it's okay i think we'll be all right so let's go ahead and adjust our settings just a little bit we're gonna go slightly unlegit here for a few minutes let's disable research temporarily uh, disabling research will overwrite your current research progress. We don't have any done anyways, so I am completely cool with that. And now we'll be able to construct this facility. What a disaster, dude. Already. Okay, here we go. We've got our facility walls. We're going to start by placing those down. Now we can go back into facilities and grab all the things that we need. Of course, there's going to be a ton more options here. So let's just add a little bit of a filter. We're going to need a research center facing this direction, I believe. And now, if we just go back to guest facilities, grab our toilet block, that is going to be facing this direction. No, I'm all, I'm all turned around now, you guys. It'll be like this. I think. I, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Let's start with the window, because I feel like that's going to be the nicest looking part of this. We'll get that snapped into position. That is the only window. The next thing we're going to need is a doorway. So we'll copy this on over. Oh, I forgot. I did kind of a... I'm just goofing left and right today, you guys. I did a sort of custom door opening for this. So I'm going to have to remake that. Let's just place one of those over there. And I'll take care of that here momentarily. Yikes! All right. But these are very, very easy to place down. They're going to go over any sort of wall that doesn't have a window or a door. And there we be. All right. Now I'm going to mess with this a little bit and we'll try to get sort of what we had before. Thankfully, I think all we did was just delete the door frame. We'll see if we can't get this thing to slide into position. That looks pretty nice. Very, very pleased with that. And this whole facility will have a grid. So we don't actually need to keep any of these mud pillars around. I'm liking it, dude. Height and everything like that looks pretty solid. I think all we have to do is just move it into position, and then we can figure out the roof at the end of things. But this is already looking so much nicer than just a standalone bathroom block. Location's going to be pretty much the same as it was before. Let's try to grab a path, see if we can't get this to connect up. 
I think that right there is probably going to look the best for our path. Actually, let's see if we can't adjust that a little bit more. Add a slightly nicer curve right there. Now on to the roof as we wait for that um, inspector to make their way inside. I'm really nervous. We only have one habitat that they're going to be looking at, so hopefully it's up to snuff with uh, other facilities that they've been paying attention to. I guess just since we kind of made the building a little bit larger, that doesn't necessarily mean that our roof is going to look much better than it did before. So I'm kind of doing the same thing, but I think I'm going to bring the roof out like that a little bit so we can sort of create an awning. I don't want to do that though for the bathroom block. So we're still going to kind of have an ugly face over here, unfortunately, but it might look considerably better than what we had previously. So let's grab one of these eaves and we'll try to slide it up into position. That isn't lining up yet again. Oh, right. It was the two meter eave. That's what we wanted. Okay, perfect. So we've got one of those there. And then over here on this side, we have to do kind of some weird stuff again. These two eaves are going to meet at a weird angle. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. We'll bring one over here to another there. And then somehow I need to bring this out just slightly. Wait. Wait just a gosh darn minute. No! Okay, well, I done goofed again. Nobody's going to want to use this bathroom because the research center gives off a negative impact on our guests. This whole building, again, trash, junk. We've just got to scrap it, dude. That's kind of frustrating. Not even going to lie, a little, little frustrated about that. But it's all good. Oh, wait, what? The inspector was in and out just like that? We got four stars overall. Two star on education. I can understand that. I don't think I have our educator actually set to go and educate at that place. But the cleanliness is looking good. Thanks to our keeper right here. Uh, Sammy McDono? Oh, no, he is here. Check him out. Okay, he's a little loud. <laughs> just a little loud. Uh, what do you got going on over here, my man? Nothing at the moment. Okay, but you are collecting quite the crowd. Waiting to start an animal talk. Okay. I don't have any seats out here, so all the guests are just going to have to stand, which is totally fine. But let's wait around for a minute. Water obstructs food throw? Oh! Do we maybe want to put this in a different spot? Because dude bro over there, from the sound of this, I think he wants to try to throw food into the exhibit or like give the guests the opportunity to throw food in the exhibit. One minute, 37 seconds later. For as long as we've been standing here. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. He has no energy. I don't know how you're supposed to give a talk with no energy, but it's all right. So this is the first time that I'm seeing what these educators actually do. He's definitely giving a talk. We have a couple of people leaving. I just hope that the guests appreciate this. It is officially March as well. It was February like two minutes ago, but he's, he's instructed to give a talk every March. I think that's how we have it set up. And he's just trying to scare all the guests. What are you doing, my guy? It, they're otters. They're like the cutest animal. Not vicious in the slightest bit. Well, they could be. I guess they could be. We're visiting our own zoo and leaving. Are we happy about it, though? Yes, we are, but we're hungry and we're also thirsty. So maybe we should focus on um, adding in some food vendors and also some drink vendors. Thank you, Just Do It, for visiting the zoo also. Very, very kind of you. Okay. Well... Since the bathroom and the research center just can't coexist, they can't be in the same vicinity whatsoever, I'm going to grab these trees and rotate them around. This is the one with, like, all the foliage in front, so it just has a bit more decoration going on. But I think what we need to do is fill the tree line over here to make the zoo feel a little bit more closed off. I guess I shouldn't use the phrase closed off. That doesn't really sound very inviting for a zoo. But what I'm trying to do here is almost create our zoo's perimeter just using 
a little bit of foliage in the front, and then a smaller group of these cypress trees just around the outside. I think it's going to look really nice. It's going to seem sort of repetitive and not very good looking from like up above, but down here from the guest's angle, or a child's angle, I guess, it looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. This bush, though, needs to get scooted back ever so slightly. I am still very determined to try to figure out some sort of facility that we can put in that little corner because it's just unused prime real estate. But we're not going to worry ourselves with that here today. Let's go back into paths. And then I think these are a 26-foot wide path, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to get one brought out pretty much straight with that staff path right there out this way and we're just gonna kind of follow the contour of the shoreline up until we get to about this point and then we'll head out straight for a few clicks now we can go ahead and connect the boardwalk with the rest of this path let's smooth out these edges just a tad that looks awful. Let's leave it exactly the way it was. I think that actually looks a little bit nicer. We might be able to do a little bit of smoothing down here. Okay. And then maybe a little bit here also. Perfect. Oh, wow. Dude, that, that merge looks really, really good right there. Now over here, we're going to bring this out. And then start turning it around to the left. We still want this tree line to kind of be the edge, the, the perimeter of the entire zoo. So we're just going to bring this out this way a little bit. Start turning it in slightly. And then eventually, I don't think we're going to have time for it today. But eventually, I would like to have a bridge go over like so. That's going to be a temporary bridge. Actually, you know what? Tell you the truth, that looks really nice. That looks way better than I thought it would for just, you know, kind of rushing through it. But um, we'll leave that for the time being. Maybe we'll make a more decorative looking bridge eventually. Or we could do like another boardwalk, something like that. Let's smooth this bit out though real quick. Uh-oh. We've got a little bit of low welfare for our Danube crested newts. What's going on over here? Are we just too crowded, probably? Yeah, it looks like we just have a few too many of them in here. So this one, we're going to have to send to the Trade Center. And now we only have two females and three males. So let's get rid of one male. We'll send him to the Trade Center also. Hopefully, their welfare will improve now. Their welfare is still considerably lower than it used to be. 24%. Oh, their exhibit. The cleanliness. The cleanliness is so bad. Okay, we've got her paused. We only have one keeper at the moment. I feel like they're probably struggling keeping up with the otters as well as those smaller exhibits. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves another one of those keepers. We've got Adrian Jeffers on it, dude. Animal welfare has attracted protesters. No, please, God, no. I just, I just put the keeper in. You guys, I just put the keeper in. He's going to go ahead and clean the facility. Get it all nice and clean again. I can't, dude. For real? Where are these protesters at? Have they made their way into the zoo yet? I don't see anyone with signs. I don't see anyone chanting. They're probably already inside, aren't they? Oh, no. Here's one. Here's one. Octavia? That doesn't seem right. There we go. Karen Montez. That seems a little bit more accurate. Come on, Karen. For real? Like, what's what's your deal? I don't even... I can't even read that. Fella Moopy. What does that mean? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. After our new keeper cleaned this exhibit, though, you can see the welfare has improved significantly. So we're all good. Everything is A-OK. -okay. That Karen's going to come in and be like, Wait a minute. I thought these animals were oppressed. I'm leaving, hopefully. But we're gonna go ahead and pause things here. I think an issue that I've had in the past is I've been putting my food vendors or my drink vendors like way too close to the entrance. I want the guests to work for it at least a little bit. Hopefully that'll keep them in the zoo longer. They'll go deeper into the zoo to follow the food, not necessarily the animals. So right along this border here of this swamp, 
I'm going to try to add just a few temporary food shops, drink shops, stuff like that. Things to keep the guests coming back, you know? We're first going to grab a pip shot water. That's usually a fan favorite amongst our guests. What else do we have in here? Gulpy Energy, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes, Street Fox Coffee. Okay, that's all drinks. Let's switch off to food. Bernie's Bakes. That's actually a new one. I don't think I've messed around with that one whatsoever. Oh, Mexilente. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, we've got Mexilente. Let's grab maybe one more food vendor. We'll do a we'll do a Bernie Bakes. Why not? And lastly, let's just give the guests the bathroom that they so rightfully deserve. But there we go. We've got three brand new vendors out here. Wait, are you are you quitting already? What's ha what's happening? Why why are you so peeved? Also, why are you wandering? Oh, these facilities probably don't have power, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm going to drop another Optimus Prime, also known as a Transformer, just right out here. I don't think that's going to get in the way of our guests whatsoever. Let's check out our heat maps. Negative impact on guests. Is the I can't even Dude, it's so it's so blown out. I can't even see the path. Oh, it completely intercepts our path, doesn't it? Let's get rid of that. Yeah, it does. Okay. Not a huge deal. The guests aren't going to be even going out this way for quite some time. But now that those facilities have power, surely our vendors are going to be like, oh, okay, now I can go to work. Nice. Good deal. She's, a, she's struggling. A little stuck over here. Power source inaccessible. How right you are. Let's grab a temporary path, and not that large of one. And we'll just bring this straight out so that at the very least our mechanic can get out to it. We've got a couple of guests on the move, looking good, making their way out to our new food and drink stands. We also have a couple of people starting to actually use the boardwalk, which is very, very nice. I am quite pleased with this. Back into our exhibit animal storage. We've got those two newts that we moved in here. Let's go ahead and release one to the wild for just a measly five cc's, but it's better than nothing. And then we can quick trade this other one for a couple hundred bucks. Not too shabby. We have quite the line forming outside of the pip shot water. I know it's like a fan favorite, but I kind of forgot how much people actually enjoy water out of all the other drinks that are available. So obviously I don't want our settings to be set the, the way that they are. I, I want to enable research. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, we hop back down into facilities. We're finally gonna grab a research center because I wanna, I wanna work for things, you know? I, I don't just wanna be handed everything. That's not really that enjoyable, honestly. Doesn't make the game super fun. We've got some trash. So we're gonna need to start putting in some trash cans. We have quite a few of them in the small exhibit space. And the floors look fairly clean in here. So let's grab a couple of these and we'll just start sort of pasting them all over the place. Okay, we've got another inspector and habitat cleanliness is disease. What? What is a disease risk? Our keeper's in there. All right, they're getting it all cleaned up. They've got their uh, like bazooka vacuum looking thing cleaning up all the poop and stuff. There you go, you found it. Okay, I think it's probably good now, but even after placing down all those trash cans, I still got an alert for there's high amounts of litter. All right, back to the research. What we're gonna need is another vet, of course, because we have one that's taking care of the, uh, the vet facility just over yonder, but this other one is gonna be taking care of just research solely research so let's grab miriam and put her on researching the small clawed otter since that's our largest exhibit i think that's probably the the most important thing for us to research right now and then let's grab another mechanic and we'll probably put another mechanic spot out here just so they have two separate facilities we'll head back into staff and grab ourselves another mechanic there we be. I'm not going to set up the work zones or anything just yet, but now at least they have two separate facilities. So view mechanic research. This dude, Norbert, we've got to put him on something that we already have in use. 
Could do habitats, maybe. That's probably not the worst idea. Or could do staff facilities. It's going to take a significant amount of time for us to get through all of the research items. But it's, it's a necessary evil. It's something that we definitely need. Oh, I'm just thinking to myself, God, what all did we do today? Well, we've placed some trees. Uh, we put up a bunch of, like temporary facilities just so we can try to start figuring out how we want to lay out the rest of the zoo i like the paths i don't think this is going to stay for forever but um these these we might be able to work in i'm thinking like stilted houses like over over top of the swamp area might be kind of cool looking so maybe that's something we could look into into creating not today though not to i, I can't be bothered to to do any of that today, dude. And now the big question, are we actually profiting? Are we actually making money here? Ongoing expenses, staff wages is still probably our highest. Oh, our inspector left again. Education's actually worse than it was before. I wonder why that is. Let's, let's grab these and we'll, uh, we'll try to help that if we can. I am just gonna slide that over here. We'll make sure that the speaker's actually working. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. Why was it showing red, though? I don't understand that. Oh, it was probably just because it wasn't actually placed down yet. That makes sense. And then we need another donation bin. That's going to go right there. We'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side, too, because it seems like a couple of the guests are kind of congregating over here. So fingers crossed doing that is going to improve our, our education overall. We have another inspector al oh, okay, no. That's that's the one that was just here. They're they're currently leaving. And judging by all of the trash that's out at the entrance, I would say our one janitor probably isn't enough. Our one caretaker, I guess is what they're called. Charlie. Good old Charles. Let's grab a secondary caretaker. I think Oh no! Diseased animal discover. I think having two of these is definitely gonna be better. Than having one but i think it's also going to be cheaper than um like training up the other one or our existing one you know what i'm saying what do we have going on here oh no oh no they're incubating some sort of disease can't be low bacteriosis yep i know exactly what that is one of our vets is here to take them back to i'm assuming quarantine most likely but it seems to be both the adults. Neither one of Bebe over here have been affected whatsoever. So hopefully they'll make it. I think they'll be all right. But the vet's going to have to take that one animal over into quarantine. No? We're going into here? I think we're going into here. All right. Just got to wait for all the guests to move out of the way. We need like some sirens or something. Like our, our vets need to pop one of those uh, like hazard lights under their head and just just cruise around with one of those. I feel like that would help, I really do. All three of our vendors decided to go on break at the exact same time. And unfortunately, the only staff resting facility we have right now is gonna be at the main entrance. That's more so for our staff that works at the main entrance. So we're gonna have to get something going out here for them. Wait, what is this? Uh, has joined the pack? What do you mean? Were you not part of the pack before? Oh, you've just gotten back from the vet. Okay, I understand. I understand. Diseased animal discovered. That one, wait, this one just came back from the vet and it's already incubating the disease? What? Now she's got the other one. Yo, uh, vet lady, I don't think you cured this one, though. It's fine. Right, it's it's probably fine. Let's check on our research, though, really quick. If we open up the vet research... Oh, hang on, yeah. We need to put you off of the otter and, and start focusing on whatever this bacteria is that's infected our otters. Not ideal. Not ideal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we've really accomplished all that much here today. I'm really just trying to get pieces in place so we can start configuring the outskirts or I guess the the more central part of this zoo. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Nonetheless, if you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.